Hey, what's up, everybody? Time for another, well, game theory sort of Evo commentary video. Remember, if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want. Appreciate it. Thanks. So I'm not going to watch everything because I don't care that much to, but with a passing interest in fighting games, I'll talk about some stuff that I thought about. So I've already commented. Oh, yeah. Remember, if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want. Appreciate it. Thanks. Um... So I'm not going to comment on the 2x KO shit. I already commented on that. So what did I think about Strive? From what I watched. Didn't watch everything. And again, I say this every time these games come out. I don't know how old Strive is now. Is Strive technically like six years old now? These games always turn out how I said they were going to. But watching Strive, you know what I think about? And I've made videos about it before, and I'll say it again. I think Strive is a more interesting game than Xard. Because once you got to the point of being x it just felt like every character was basically just knock you down into my version of a big fireball. Knock you down to my version of a big fireball. It just got, it got boring. The game's not like big brain to me. It's kind of stale, right? But Strive, although of course Strive is a terribly made game, I would actually be, I would be curious to you know, sometimes there's like, say, a battle developer. Maybe some person is directly making a character. I would be curious if the people making the characters are the same people that made the battle system itself. Because obviously, you think about the wall. The wall is terrible. You have a system that encourages the player to not play the game optimally. Let's also remember that this is the same game that people said was going to be the most risky game ever to jump in. And when I told people they were wrong, they got mad. Remember when Sage Jam was supposed to debate me and I was going to be wrong about the game? <laughs> Jesus, yeah, sure. So anyway, you know, the, the game system itself is pretty shitty, right? I mean, the only thing I kind of like about the game system itself is I like how, and again, this is another thing that I was the first person to talk about and I was the one explaining, when everyone was talking about how amazing the wall was, how it was going to be the most risky game ever to jump in, right? You know, and they were talking about how it looked like a tramp stamp and they hated the big counter system and stuff on the screen. I was the one that actually said, you can tell this game is going by. It's like one of the gimmicks of the game is like a little timer system. And the bigger the counter, the longer the game is slowed down for the bigger counter hits, right? I think that is kind of interesting. So you could see it on the screen. Bigger counter hit, more combos, all that kind of stuff from the increased stun, smaller, right? It's kind of interesting if you look at the time thing. and It goes with lots of different system mechanics. That's okay. But again, not the most risky game to jump ever in as retarded. The wall is terrible, right? But the characters, the characters are pretty fucking cool in Strive. And they're pretty lucky. I think that looking at, again, I didn't watch everything, but it looked like, you know, I was watching some matches here and here. They had a pretty di diverse group of different characters, which I think shows off the game pretty well. And I know some people, you know, they didn't like all the reimaginations, let's call it, of some of the Guilty Gear characters. And I agree from the standpoint that they could almost be EX versions of the characters. But even that said, EX versions, let's call them, they're pretty fucking cool, I think. The guy can still, whoever makes it, you know, the guy, if it's a team making it, maybe one person's making the characters. One person's making the battle system. And I only say that because I recall when Accent Core was coming out, uh, I, that I recall, I actually think there was an interview where Daisuke said that he was not the main guy even working on all the character, you know, battle developing it anymore by the time that Accent Core came out. So, again, I don't know who's developing everything, but I do think that, you know, that's my chair. This is my chair. Don't get any weird, weird ideas, you know. I do think that they deserve a pat on the back for making, they can still make cool characters. I don't know about having fucking Lucy in the game from fucking Cyberpunk, whatever the fuck it is. I, I've actually never played the game. I know there's an anime. I've never watched the anime either. I think that's weird. I, I don't know why she's in the game or she's going to be in the game. That doesn't do anything for me personally, but whatever. But the, the point still stands. They make cool characters. And I think Strive deserves to get a pat on the back. It's a shame that the game itself sucks because I think the character idea-wise are cool, right? 
and they don't feel all similar. The characters feel more different, I think, actually, than a game like Axart, right? Because, like I said, by the time Axart came out, I think Guilty Gear was already stale as a series. But, you know, I, I do think Strive is a more interesting game. And actually, besides the fact that I'm not wearing pants, as you can see, donate to the OnlyFans, Super Lake, Super Chat, whatever. I will say, just thinking about Evo, and, you know, I got to talk about myself, of course. It is my channel. One of the first times I turned on Evo this weekend, I saw that fucking GC Yoshi, CG Yoshi, whatever. Another motherfucker that has joked about me being left for dead at a tournament. How funny it is. And, you know, I I've said this before. And, of course, you know, again, it's my channel, so I'm going to talk about myself. It's... And, and, and watching other parts of Evo, too. How they're talking about how the community is so cool and all this kind of stuff. We all love each other. And yet this community at such great lengths has gone to lie about me. And it's so fucking creepy. And I think about even that 2x KO. Look at those people that, you know, I used to help that now they're working on the game. <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh my God. I just think about the fighting game community as a whole. And it's like, you know... I said I realized this when I first was doing all these videos for Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I guess it would have been would have been almost like six years ago. Six years ago. Six years ago. Bullshit. Six years ago. Although technically the beta was before that. So seven years ago? Seven years ago, right? Again, I've said this before. I didn't realize that people still talked about me and were making up all this crazy shit about me, right? Especially considering... I'm the one that the fucking fighting game community... You guys should be sucking my dick. Because you guys sure as fuck aren't finding this shit by yourselves 99.9% .9 of the time, right? Most of the shit in these games is from me, right? But I realized, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, that, wow, these dudes, these were names I would see. And even seven years ago, I'm saying this, you know, that was 2017, I guess it would have been. I'm like, wow, these guys never stop playing games. These are the same guys I remember from 2000, whatever it was, when I was winning tournaments. Sick as fuck, right? You guys really never stopped playing games. And, you know, it just, I, I, would, I, I would wonder, do any of these people actually put out their hours played in these games? Because it's crazy. You know, I went back and I looked. And, you know, people, they don't like it. They don't like it when I say this, but I looked back, dude, and do you know, so I left for Japan in October, and since October, and it's now the end of July, I have only played video games how many times? I, I want you to think, how many times do you think that I have gone to play video games since October? Played, played, played a person, including online, since October. It's almost August, so that would be, what, nine months or something like that? Nine, ten months, whatever. Anyway, I'll let you know. One time. One fucking time. And that's why I, I say, when I, when I see shit like this, one time. When I see all these dudes that I, I remember and I hear about the community is such a good, the community, oh, the community is so amazing. I, and I see these people and I'm like, Jesus, dude, you guys really have dedicated your lives. And I think about those guys that got mad that I beat them in Guilty Gear. They said they were a noob and they had 10, was it 10,000 or 12,000 matches? And I'm like, that's more video games combined. Every fucking video game that I've played all combined and, and like 10, 15 years or something. I've played video games one time. I, I've gone and looked. One time. And that's why I say, I wonder how much these, these people play. And again, my, my the ego in me is like, oh my God, like, dude, the video game community, would you guys ever beat me? Would anyone ever be able to beat me? Especially back in the day, like I said, People already had to get lucky to beat me 
back in the day with how sick I was, right? I say sick I was, you know. Obviously, I'm still on disability, you know, and I have a lot of health problems. Can't I can't even play even if I wanted to, you know, but I just think that I don't know. And like I said, that's not me to talk too much shit. You know, I talk shit because of the way that the community treats me. You know, I say from my heart, so to speak, that I do feel that I've been lucky enough to do what I've done in games. And, you know, of course, I've had to train myself to be able to look at a game to, you know, be able to predict games and do tech for them and everything like that. But, um... I also thank God, dude. You see these guys, they've never stopped playing. You guys have, you have dudes that have played 10, 12,000 matches in a year, whatever it was, saying that he's a new. That's more games than I've played every game combined, every series, in like 10, 15 years. And I just think, I, I mean, I and I was just thinking, like, I saw that guy and I feel disgusted and I see everyone telling how lovey-dovey they are when you got dudes joking about leaving me for dead. And they've just never stopped playing. And you have the community. You have dudes that think. I have some dudes. And I know I'm really going off on a tangent here. I made that video. You have dudes. I made that video showing what I've played on. Duct tape controllers. All this kind of stuff. Little TV. There's dudes in those comments. Dude trying to say it's fake. It's not actually what I was playing on. Wow. And I just think. Wow the community. What would the community do if I actually played as much as they did? If I was even capable of playing as much as they are? Anyway, long tangent. That was about, was it like a five, six minutes, seven minutes tangent, whatever. Point is, um, yeah, so Guilty Gear Strive, the game is still how I said it was going to turn out. Um, and, you know, even thinking about the game being badly designed just from like a gameplay thing. Not really like tested. What, what did they ever fix that? Like it wasn't until the second patch, the first patch, you could still punish Kai half screen away after you got hit by a fireball. Are you kidding me? And then I showed I haven't been keeping up with the patches. Did they ever fix that when you do the shock state, it was actually making you worse? Did they fix that thing I showed in the first patch? I don't know. I, I mean, but you know what? They they have creative ideas and. I'll say it again. I think Strive is a more interesting game than Xard. I know some people like Xard. I think Xard is a stale game. Don't really care for it that much, right? Because even once you got to Accent Core plus R, the game has started to become stale. I think. But um, Strive, I think. I think Strive is still an interesting game. You get to see different uh, play styles. It's a shame the overly radical LGBTQ has taken over it. You know, I got to listen to God, you, you should. The, the most important thing about the game should be people should be focusing on how awesome all these characters are. And unfortunately, you constantly, constantly get to hear about, oh, Brisket, oh, Bridget, oh, Testament. Yeah, they're transgender now. Oh, they're non binary now. Like, fuck, dude. Absolute disgrace. Do you know what? And if you're listening to this, you overly radical, Niji Dome. <laughs> fucking getting me banned because I speak Japanese terribly I know a little bit of Japanese but no don't actually translate the Japanese interviews no 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 we don't want to hear the Daisuke that's what he's actually saying but um you know and and you know speaking about the system too just because I haven't talked about striving so long I, I would challenge you if you were to actually say in your heart what is the best thing about strive I would challenge you. Is it the fact that Bridget is now a transgender and they retconned her? Is it the testing is non binary? Blah, 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 blah. Is it the fact that they tried to tell you that the wall was going to be the greatest invention in fighting games? Some brand new perspective, which even then in their own backyard interview a year into the game, they said, we don't know what we're doing with the wall. Do you remember that interview? Oh my God. Yeah, we don't know why you would not break the wall right now. We want to do something with it, but we don't know. The game's already been being made like two years. <laughs> terrible. Encouraging the person to not play the game optimally. What a terrible fucking mechanic. Is it the most dangerous game ever to jump in? All that shit's bullshit. 
You want to know what? I think if you're actually being honest with yourself, you're just like, wow, they can still make cool characters. Such great reinventions, great EX version. Johnny still works. He's at his second EX character now. Kai Shock State. Biking with the grappling hook. Asuka, that man. Wait, his name is Asuka, right? Why do I think they have two different names now? I don't even remember the story of Guilty. The, guilt, the story is obviously terrible. Asuka, I want to say, I'm thinking of like Neon Genesis, and I'm about to say Asuka Langley's Solar Year or some shit. Whatever, but you know, he's an interesting character. Gold Lewis, you know, all these characters, they, they get a thumbs up from me. I, I think they're awesome. But it's a shame the game is, the system of the game is just such shit. Shame the LGBTQ has just ruined the fun for everybody. Blah. Anyway, I'll be back when Street Fighter VI starts, and I'll give my final thoughts on Street Fighter VI after that. Okay, so I don't remember where I was, but I ended up going to bed. I just got kind of bored, and I was tired. I watched a little bit of Evo, the other games, but um, in general, you know, I think about things like Street Fighter VI, Broken Record. The game turned out how I said it was going to. So the and I just think the game is just dreadful to watch. I've already I've already dissected the game too many times and it just it feels old to me. I didn't think it was what I saw was that interesting. You know, it's a the game is already old to me. The meta is old to me. And you know, going back to what I you know, since I was talking about Guilty Gear Strive, and I've said this about perhaps a lot of new school games, and even if you think about the two X KO game whatever how they don't want zoners apparently because zoning isn't fun so they have six characters in five years i really hope they rethink that idea because that sounds retarded but you know there's this and i've made videos about it there's almost like this gravitational pull of fighting games now like this magnet that is just pulling characters towards each other constantly now Characters feel so heavy, and it's definitely something, I didn't mention it just originally when I was talking about Strive, but it's it's something that you can almost feel the heaviness and the weight of the characters and that gravitational pull pulling themselves, you know, your, your character to each other. And it's the same kind of feeling even when I watch Street Fighter VI, the characters, the mechanics, they pull you towards each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just crazy. It's just like... And the characters, they feel so heavy. And even, you know, when I did a little bit of combo videos for Street Fighter VI, even like imagine when you hit a character with like, say, a DP, right? An, an example of like the heaviness of games nowadays. You notice how when you hit a DP, and let's say if you were to try to hit a late DP, do you notice how the character almost falls faster if you hit with the late DP, even though it should be giving you like more of an advantage to do like a juggle? Like, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, characters, there's this, like, forced gravity in fighting games now. And this forced gravitational magnet pull that it feels like characters have to have. And even the mechanics, like Drive Rush, feel like they're constantly pulling you to, to each other. And even when you poke, again, Street Fighter Six, most pokes can't miss you anymore. They don't even have to touch you. You know, and you're just jabbing thin air and the character has to block it. You know, it's like a, and again, I'm talking, it's like a robot made the game. And you know, it's funny, I saw a guy, I say a guy, as if only one person, right? <laughs> you know, I should make a video showing some stupid comments. I saw people saying that I didn't predict Street Fighter 6, all this kind of stuff again. And it's like, oh my God, I've predicted these games so early. They're just, they're archaic to me now. You know, I just think that Street Fighter 6 is just, it feels, the thought of playing it is just dreadful. That's not me saying you can't have fun with it, because every game has to be different, but I've already talked about the good things of Street Fighter 6 and the bad things, but it's just overall not interesting to me. If you have fun with it, you have fun with it. You can have fun with 2X KO, you can have fun with Strive. You know, just, the games, they just don't interest me, right? And I saw that recently, uh, I did see, um, late last night before I went to bed, I saw the patch for Guilty Gear Strive and how uh, they're going to make it so not only can you not do the FRC, Purple RC, whatever the fuck they call it in Strive for Dragon Punch moves, now they won't even let you RC for a Dragon Punch. That's one of the great patch changes for the game. Just I, 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 I'll have to do a video about talking about just who is, please fire these people. 
whoever is designing the characters, I like that. Like, that's why I always say a lot of these games, dude, and I've said it so many times for games like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. there needs to be, like, an actual fucking director that can, like, pick out the good ideas and the bad ideas and give whoever is, you know, helping them with the game, so to speak, like, hey, that's a good idea, Jimmy, Timmy, Bob, Billy, <laughs> whatever fuck Jose Canseco. <laughs> I don't know, Carlos. You know, hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, I feel like there are, it's not like everything is, is a bad idea, but video games, they don't have like a person that is actually, you know, smart enough to like pick out good ideas and help nurture that and help it grow, right? A lot of these people, like I always think that the people make and strive they just hate dragon punches apparently a lot of these people games they just hate dragon punches you know they're not the a lot of these people you hear like i said i watched a little bit more of the 2xko interview and i'm like oh my god come on dude like these people are not that fucking smart dude it hurts my brain you know but uh yeah you know, i'll have to talk about that uh some more you know, like I said, I don't really care to play a lot of video games anymore because it just doesn't interest me. And, um, you know, even if I could, my hands are so far gone, you know, half the time. Just, I got house stuff and other real life stuff to do. But overall, you know, just looking at Evo, I, I, and again, this is for me, you know, and I know my situation is uh, different than other people, but I just felt really the creepiness of Evo and the fighting game community is what stood out to me. When I see all these people that I see people I remember beating in tournaments, you know, people that joke about leaving me for dead, listening to people talk about how great the community is. Oh, but remember, you can't talk about Clayton. You know, one I actually had an announcer guy message me and I don't know if I'm allowed to say his name, but he even he told me something like um, it's still too controversial to ever say your name, but. He said something like, I know I personally have said that I will refuse to ever work with Rufo Monger if he gets a job or something like that. He told me something a lot. Not, not an exact quote, but he said something like that. But I just heard he said something like that to me. And I'm like, what is controversial about saying my name? How much fucking money has the fighting game community made off of me at this point throughout all these years? You guys should be fucking sucking my dick. Shouldn't it be controversial that you guys promote people? that have lied easily, you can see. And like I said, that's what I see when I see games. I just think of how creepy the fighting game community is. And it's such a, I don't know. I, I Again, not the biggest deep, big, big brain video ever because I've already big brained all these videos. I've already, you know, video games, you know, I've already explained how they work. They still work how I said they were going to work, right? So, you know, I, I can appreciate things like when I watch Strive, I still think that I like the character design, you know, and I think that's cool. It shows that there is creativity, but sometimes you need to nurture that creativity and you also need to be like a parent and be like, okay, this is a good idea, Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy, you're pooping your pants. That's a bad idea. Grow up, Jimmy. You know, you need to be like a good director, parent. <laughs> and if Jimmy, if Jimmy has a good idea, that's a good idea, Jimmy. Poop in your pants. That one was bad. This other idea, good idea. You know, but in general, again, I, I just feel like it creeps me out when I look at tournament stuff. And it like really, it's, it's like cringy to me. And that's just me looking at very little of video game stuff. But, um. Those are my evil thoughts from the little, oh, and the City of the Wolves. Uh, I think I watched like half a match. I, I don't know. Once the if one of the Kim brothers gets in it, hopefully Jae Hoon, uh, I'll look at some of it because I'm, I'm slightly interested in him. Hopefully he's fun. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Video games, man. Weird shit. If you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want. Appreciate. It. Thanks. The end.